Hi, I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark. I'm an acupuncture physician and applied clinical nutritionist with Longevity Wellness, and I'm also the creator of Energy Evolution. And I want to take a moment and talk to you about stomach acid because I, a lot of times I have a, people come to me and they complain about acid reflux and heartburn, and they say, ah, well, you know, I've got it pretty well controlled with Tums or proton pump inhibitor, my Prilosec, the little purple pill, the Nexium. Well, here's the problem with those. The problem is when you're constantly decreasing the amount of stomach acid that you have, that big vat of stomach acid that the food drops into, that's what allows us to transmute food into nutrients for our cells. And if we take out that stomach acid, we can't do that nearly as well. Okay, but we still have the problem of the acid reflux and the GERD, right? Interesting thing. Your esophagus goes straight down into your stomach. There's a little valve at the bottom of the esophagus called the lower esophageal sphincter. What causes that valve to close properly is an appropriate amount of calcium in your tissues. Now calcium is a pretty heavy thing to digest. It's found in like chalk and coral, right? It's found in these really heavy bones and shells kind of, kind of things. And when we don't have enough stomach acid to digest that calcium and turn it into the nutrients that our tissues need in order to keep those valves closed, we're actually exacerbating the problem. So when we take Tums, when we take Prilosec, when we take Nexium, we're making the problem worse over time. This is borne out by the study that was released last year that showed that people who took Prilosec and Nexium, proton pump inhibitors, for a significant period of time which is anything longer than just a few months is the recommended prescription time for, for proton pump inhibitors, had a 20 times increase in cardiovascular events. This is serious stuff. We're not talking about just a little bit of a problem. We're talking about if you don't have enough stomach acid to digest the nutrients in your food, the part of your body that suffers the most from this is your heart because it's working all the time, all the time, all the time. So if you have heartburn, if you have GERD, if you have any kind of gastroesophageal reflux disease, acid reflux, any of these, please work with a qualified healthcare practitioner because it doesn't need to be that way. Your tissues can be healed, and more importantly, the tissues that need the calcium can get the calcium. So you can do this. It's not that hard but you gotta work with someone in order to get it done. If you, can, if you cannot afford anything else, if you can't afford to work with a qualified healthcare practitioner, start with trying to take apple cider vinegar in order to increase your stomach acid or betaine hydrochloride. The problem with these is that you may very likely need to heal your esophagus too. So it needs to be done in tandem. Uh, in, many of my, in many of my videos, I give recommendations for what you can do for natural cures uh, without going to a healthcare practitioner, but this is one that you really want to work with somebody to make sure that it's being done in the right order. Thanks very much for listening, and have a great day!